Sensory technology that responds to hand gestures is enabling drivers to take control of driverless cars in an emergency. Alexis is a Belgian-based company. Uh, we're a semiconductor company. We've been focusing primarily on the automotive industry for about 25 years now. Today we're showing our time of flight camera which is a particularly interesting piece of technology. What it enables you to do is get a high resolution depth map of a specific area and what this allows you to do is get things such as an idea of where the head is facing, head tracking type of things. Also you can do things like hand position and foot position as well. On that note autonomous vehicles really um, can use these type of features because uh, the human factor is very important on autonomous vehicles um, given the fact that some of these systems need to give control back to the driver in the state of uh, emergencies or special circumstances. Um, but on the same note, our time of flight camera has several different applications, um, one of them being uh, gesture recognition, so um, really contactless gesture recognition in the vehicle. Um, and you'll see this technology in the uh, new 7 Series coming out next year. So the hand gestures are, are very, this is a very broad spectrum uh, at this point. So right now they're used for controlling things in the center console, um, such as turning the volume uh, up and down on your music, changing stations, changing uh, songs, um, things like answering and, answering and declining phone calls. Um, very um, non-safety critical type of gestures for, at this point. So a manufacturer would really want to include um, this type of feature, these gesture recognition type features into their vehicle in order to really lower the distraction levels of the driver. Um, that being said, when you don't have to look down at a center console and push small buttons um, on the screen or on the center stack, um, you really can focus more on the road when you only have to do very simple gestures in the air and not have to focus on one particular point. So right here we have uh, our EVK75023 up on the screen. Mm -hmm. So what we're showing right now is the amplitude, so really the light-based um, signal that comes back from our sensor. And then we also have a distance map as well, so a depth map. Um, the colors on the, cam on the screen represent uh, actual distance up to, um, this is targeting a, five, uh, a two to three meter range, um, but this is, uh, most often used in very close one meter proximity range. So as you can see here, the color um, red represents close distance and as you get farther away, the hand turns to a lighter blue right. and the blue represents farther distances.